Okay, one of the most asked questions is, it's muddy, I have a lot of paint on my brush. What am I doing wrong? I don't need, it's not on my bristles, my tip of my brush. It's not on this tip, it's full of paint all in here. All right, so a couple of things I'm going to put out because some of you are having problems with knowing how much floating medium also to put out here. So I'm putting the Focar floating medium in the center. This is my double loader. It has a lid and everything wonderful to make it. You can close up the paint and make it last until um, we come back again. So that makes it really fun and saves your paint, okay? I'm going to use my traditional uh, folk art uh, student brushes. These are really good. I use these a lot. And um, I do have signature brushes for those who want to get even more serious, okay? All that's on onestroke.com. Okay, on my website, onestroke.com. If you're a member of my One Stroke membership, One Stroke Advantage, you get an extra 10% off any of my already low prices. Okay, so this I want you to watch really close because it's all about the loading and how often I go back to the double loader to get more paint. Okay, so we're going to be up here at the top. Now I'm going to divide this up. I'm going to do one third and two thirds of how much I pick up. All right, then I come over here and work it in. All right, now I want more of the red. This is apple red and sap green. So I want it to be bright red on one and darker green on the other, All right? So I'm going to make like a red rose with shading because you can't really use white and I don't want to use black, but it looks like it's dark, all right? So this is what I want to share with you. I'm going to, let's move over and down and turn this camera so you can see well. Now I'm going to go one, two, three. Those are my starter strokes. And then I'm going to go up and down, up and down and see how I'm getting that shading. All right. So if you look at that, it's already shading. It doesn't look like black. It just looks like a darker red. All right. So I'm going to go on this side because I still have lots of paint over here. Okay. Now I'm going to take and pick up more red. So I dipped into the red and I'm going to layer right in here. So I have to have more sap green but I want to see that bright red. You see, you've got a dip red and come around. All right, and you can dip red again and get another layer. And then you can also come down in here and get a bud. Now, so all of this is by putting those colors on your brush. Okay, now a lot of you are working with the three quarter brush. All right, so I'm gonna clean this paint this paint out of the, the 16, that was a 16 flat. Sorry, I should have told you all that. All right, so then what we're gonna do here is let's just go to blue and white and see what you're more about this loading process. So I'm gonna do half and half. And then I come right here, push hard, hard, hard to work it in. Now, this is the key. That's the first time I picked it up. Now I'm going to split it again. I'm splitting the brush. I come here and I work it in. And this time I'm not pushing so hard. All right, so you got to push hard to get it into the bristles. All right, now that looks like it has water. So look, I can lay it there and you can literally see the water run out of it. I thought I dried it, but I didn't dry it enough. So I'm gonna come right back here and get more. And this time I just want to blend it on the surface of the brush. It's already blended and in inside of the brush from the pressure I put, all right? Now let's just get it really a lot because this is what you're saying, you're getting a lot. Now with stroke work, if you are mostly 12 and smaller, you don't need a lot of floating medium if you're picking up paint and painting. Okay, so I want you to see with this, I'm going to come right here. One, two, three. I'm going to scrub. 
and go to the point. Okay, let's move over here so I can make sure you see everything. So I'm going to come right back here. I still have paint on the other side of the brush now. Okay. Now see how nice that blend is? And then I pull the stem into it. Now, this is the thing you're saying. You can't get that paint on your brush like you need. With the double loader, I'm going in between the two colors. Lots of paint. See that goopy? I go back and forth here to work that in. I still don't need medium yet. Okay. So then I want you to see that I have my starter point one two three the handle of the brush needs to stay up okay and then i'm scrubbing scrubbing so i'm getting a little bit of a dry edge there you might not see it so this is when i'd go into some medium i'm just going to get the blue into the medium then i go one two and i'm ready to go so now it feels like butter. And then I make sure I stand up. And I come into there. All right. So let's 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 pick up more paint. We can go right here. See how I keep the brush down? Now a couple of things and see I'm going into that loaded area. Okay, right here, I'm picking up almost every stroke. We do some pickup. All right. All right, now I don't have much here to work with, so I might see it's pasty. And I don't want medium, I want more paint. So I'm coming here, a lot more paint. One, two, three. And I come right back here, one, two, three again. And I finish that off. Okay. So the reason you do the one, two, three is because you're trying to get all of these petals to match the same color as each other. So that's a little bit brighter. All right. So I'm going to come here, pick up more paint, a little bit more. Push down to get it, split it and push down, then work it in. Now I'm going to go on top wet on wet. So I can dip lightly, then go back and forth. Don't go in much, just barely tip it. Okay. So now I'm going to come right in here on top of those petals. And see, the key is, is that I kept the blue on this edge over here and the white separate. I kept the blend right here separate. So if you mess up that blend by accident, switch the brush. And if you're not see the clean pickup, the clean pickups here. Here's clean. Dip slightly. That's clean. And you're ready to go. So I want you to think of those steps each time you pick up paint. And I want you to see there's one stroke. I can flip it over. The other side still has paint on it. Two strokes. All right, and see, I'm losing my color. So the only reason I could do two strokes is because I flipped the brush over and there was paint on the opposite side. I don't have to get medium every time. See that? I just picked up more paint and that's all I needed. All right, so let's come back here. Back and forth. And I can come right in here. And even do a third layer and take a scruffy in the middle. See, you can tell right there I messed it up. So I can clean this back up and come right there. All right. So this has been needed. I'm going to put a small scruffy center in there. This is something that you guys keep asking me for. So I'm going to um, keep showing you again. Now I'm tapping the paint to spread it out. Okay, again. 
All right. So let's let's look at that leaf again. See, there's the shell. So then I stand up, stand up, stand up, and slide to the point. Now I don't even know if you remember if you've watched some of my earlier ones um, of these practice strokes, but I go one, two, three. I make a shell. Then I slide from that shell to the tip. And then I come up on the chisel and take the chisel in. Okay, now what people do is when they're painting or getting this loaded, they push down really hard. And they make a mess with it. All right. And so, or they do this where they're too... They're up on the on up on the chisel and they don't push down and they have no control. Okay. So what I want to do is I want you to see that I am half sprung. So here I'm picking up white and blue again. I come right here. I I don't need medium if I have enough paint. Or if your surface, this is more of a slick paper. So let's pretend it's a dry paper. So I barely touch the medium. Okay, so this is what I want you to do. I want you to be between the chisel or smushed. I want you halfway, half sprung. Okay, then see I'm up and all I'm doing is pulling the brush wherever I want it to go. So watch this, one, two, three, four, five, six, whatever to make the color match. And I'm half sprung and I see the shell and then I come around to see the point of the leaf. Okay, so if it's on, so if it's on a phone, it's easier on the double loader. But if it's on the phone, I want you to see that we are going to, this is real important. So I'm going to do a couple of strokes like this. Okay. Most asked question, what am I doing wrong? So if you go in between these two colors, okay. Or you can dip the blue and go way over to this side and pick up white. So I'm side stroking, side stroke. And it's also blending and flattening the brush. Okay, so look, if you take and you come here and you're trying to do a leaf. All right, so I need to go up to a point, come down. I'm half sprung, come down, I'm dry. I'm gonna dip in the medium. I'm gonna go back here and then come across, all right? Now I need more paint, so I'm gonna come right here. This is the key, you don't go in the middle. You don't go like that. See how I'm going into the paint? Cause that makes a mess, all right? I'm going to out from it and putting a little bit of pressure and here you don't go like that you don't get all that so what you want to do is you've got this side loaded so you can come right here and out here you put pressure so a touch of that edge goes and gets the white so then you can work it in or if you're right here and you do this properly you can come right back here and you're ready to go all right. Okay, I need to come back some more. I need to get more blue. Okay, and I pull a stem into it. Okay. Now, I can come here and look at this. It's all dry. So I can dip a teeny bit of medium, come back here, and get both of these colors if I want like this. Touch, pressure, stand up, 
pull this down. Okay. So when people say I have too much paint on my brush, what am I doing wrong? Okay. So I'm going to come here and say and pretend this is what you're doing. And you're not making it blend like we want. I'm trying to make it look bad. Okay, I know how to do it. So let's see. I'm here. And by the time y'all get through, you have a muddy mess. And you think you need all this paint. And then when you go to stroke it. And... And you're all up here on the chisel. Uh, are you pushing too hard? You have mud. And even that's not too, too bad. But it does make it very muddy. And then when you're trying to do your leaves, you've got too much medium. And look, you got a mess. See, by the time you put too much medium in there, and it's all one color. All right. So those are the things you're trying to avoid. All right. But it's very easy. I take a lay it on the paper towel and go back and pick up right here. I can dip, dip, work it in. Or I can move the blue over and the white over. Okay, come back here and get paint and work it in. All right, so I can then do a chisel. I can make rosebuds. Even with this large brush, let's do white up here. All right. Okay, so I'm going to pick up paint, work it in, and I can make some little strokes out here. Little teeny bit of medium. A little bit there, a little bit more white. Work it in. Now I did all this with a three quarter inch brush, but I would normally go down to a 12 or even a six and make little leaves. I just want you to see that you can keep going and going and going and enrich those colors by look, I want a little bit more white. I just picked up a little bit more white. All right. So practice, practice, practice. And before you know it, you will paint something. But the proper loading makes the huge difference. You make something that you can't believe you did but it does take practice, okay? And having the proper tools, I want you to still be able to paint even if you have to use a plate, glass plate, foam plate, whatever, to pick up your paint. But I want you to see that this is my quarter inch scruffy. Let's see, I need white that's not getting bright. I want some bright. You don't use water on this brush except to clean it. Okay. And I'm going to keep working on this red rose. And I will see you next week. So your homework for this week is practice how you pick up paint. All right. You got to practice, practice, practice. I'm going to come right here and get more paint. See right there. 
I'm going to work it in or dip, just paint. And you can do it, I promise. Just keep practicing that process. It's a process of picking up paint, working it in, getting medium only every third to fourth stroke. Don't do too much medium, do lots of paint. See how often I'm just tipping up, tipping the red because I need the red to really stand out. Pick up red, work it, pick up red, work it. You guys can do it. There you go. Thank you guys for being on. I will see you next week. And between now and then, practice. And please go check out One Stroke Advantage and how you can learn and create for $10. It's about $10 a month. It's right here on my YouTube site. Just click join and find out all the information. Okay, I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.